As hockey players, we put so much attention into what equipment we use and why. With our skates, with our sticks. Sticks, you want to make sure you have the right curve, the right flex, the right grip. Now, with our skates, we like to think about them in the same way, but what about the blade? The blade should be just as important as our skates and the stick, because we need to make sure that we're able to optimize our performance on the ice, regardless of what ice conditions that we have. Now, profiling allows us to change the radius of the blade. So in other words, you're able to alter how much of your hockey blade comes into contact with the ice at any time during any situation of play. Now, the more ice contact you have with your blade, the better stability that you're gonna have, which is gonna equal the better control that you have. Think about it as your grip on a stick. If you're not holding your stick very tightly, you don't have very good control over it. Now, if you hold it nice and tightly and you have a secure grip, you're able to control your stick much, much better. Almost treat it as an extension of your body. And that's exactly what profiling allows you to do with your skates. Today, we're on the ice with the Peterborough Phantoms and Pro Sharp, who are taking us through the different profiles they offer us as players from a single radius, which is a single point of the blade being in contact with the ice, all the way up to something that we didn't even know existed until we spoke to Pro Sharp, which is a quad radius. Four separate points of the blade in constant contact with the ice, regardless of what we're doing. How profiling differs from sharpening is with sharpening a blade, we alter the hollow depending on ice conditions or player's preference. Now profiling is altering the entire blade's radius to change the contact points on the ice. Again, we're able to adapt this exactly the same as sharpening your skates to different kinds of players. So depending on how they play, how they perform, what type of skater they are, you're able to find a radius that's gonna help them excel on the ice. When we break down the sections of a hockey blade or runner, starting from the toe end, the first section is referred to as the acceleration zone. From there, it's the mobility zone. Next is the speed. Lastly, the heel is the stability zone. Changing the length of any one of these zones will have a massive impact on the feel and performance of a runner for the player. The biggest advantage with profiling a blade is because you're able to adapt or increase the contact points between the blade and the ice. Traditionally, if you have quite a deep sharpen, so the blade really digs into the ice, which means you have to put more effort into every stride, using more energy, getting fatigued quicker on the ice. With profiling, increasing the contact points with the ice gives you better control, better mobility, better acceleration, which means that you're then able to reduce the depth of your sharpen. So in other words, you're able to go for something a lot more shallow, which means you're gonna be using less energy to produce the same power, same speed, preventing you from getting fatigued quickly on the ice, helping you to perform better using less energy. The best way to think about profiling is think about a race car on a racetrack. Depending on what car it is, what conditions it's driving in, you change the tires to fit the conditions. It's exactly the same as your blades in profiling. Depending on your style of play and the conditions and the way that you like to move on the ice, you profile your blades accordingly. Our blades and our skates are the most important piece of equipment we have on the ice. So doing anything and everything we can to give us an upper hand over our opponents and help us excel on the ice is essential. Let's find out exactly how big a difference profiling makes. So in terms of the different profiles we tried on the ice today, option five was definitely gonna be my favorite. Now, the reason for that was because when I was on the ice, it feels like you basically have blunt skates in terms of the way it feels when you're gliding forward because it doesn't feel like the blade is digging into the ice at all. So a lot of the blade feels like it's sitting on the surface, which means skating, gliding in a straight line, speed, it's effortless. But then when I needed to, when it came time for me to, to get into my tight turns, quick starts and stops, the blade would bite the ice, which was the most bizarre feeling I've ever had. Feeling like you have no edge, but you have plenty of edge when you need it. And it was amazing. That's really the only way I can explain it. The changes I could feel immediately and it felt incredible on the ice. Doesn't matter what level you play at, if you're playing beer league, if you're a beginner or if you're a pro. I mean, a lot of pros will probably have this facility available to them depending on what country they play in, but you should be trying to go to a shop to get your blades profiled. If you can't, you need to ask that shop to make that service available to you because it's it's almost an injustice. It's like going somewhere where they can only offer one type of sharpen for a blade. That's that's not right. Um, you, you need to have this option because it doesn't matter what level you play at, every player should have the right tools to be able to play to the best of their ability. And that's exactly what profiling your blade is gonna let you do. So after I went through the different five options of profile blades, 
um, the uh, guys at Pro Sharp had me put on my original blades, which are the ones that have been on my VH skates since I got them, and they felt terrible. It felt like I was skating on a long piece of two by four attached to the bottom of my blade. It felt awful. I couldn't really turn properly. It felt unstable, unbalanced, uncomfortable in every sense of the word because I'd adjusted in just the space of about two hours to the profile blade. So <laughs> it's, it's, I'm trying to think of a non-offensive way of saying this, but once you go profiled, you never go back. Seriously, it's phenomenal. If you want to see more content on profiling or anything else that we've shot in the past, links down below in the video description. Check out the links and the videos along the side over there. Don't forget to subscribe and take care till next time. For this first drill, we're gonna use a partner. One of them is gonna be holding up signs. So you'll have to yell out whatever number they're holding up to keep your eyes up uh, and to get you shifting your head while stick handling at the same time. All you need is one green biscuit and your stick for this one. Two.